We're in today with the legendary RTX 3060 Ti. This is the Founders Edition that has uh, 4,864 shaders, 8 gig of uh, VRAM GDDR6 Samsung, 256 bit bus width, running at uh, 1,410 megahertz on the core clock and 1,750 megahertz on the memory clock. We're gonna pair it up today with this i7-7700. Gonna see how it's running with four cores and eight threads. Today, it's about the CPU, it's not about the GPU because I already know how the GPU is performing. It's a freaking awesome video card, but this is the first time I have this i7 in the PC, so I'm gonna see how this uh, CPU is holding the video card. Let's jump in a couple of games and see how the whole system is running. Let's start with PUBG. I think this is one of those games that allows you to uh, see the system, how it's performing, because it's a big open world. And uh, I think it's going to show uh, the true colors of the CPU and the GPU, how it's performing uh, here. Let's start with 100% render scale with very low. And we're going to put it up uh, with uh, maximum details in the game to see the difference between them. I put it on low details because I want to see how the GPU is performing on uh, maximum performance. That means you can actually see the cores are being uh, pushed to the limit. I like that and I need that so I can uh, see how the CPU and uh, GPU is handling together. Seeing this amount of FPS just tells me that the CPU is uh, quite capable of delivering that performance. I mean, the GPU is doing great, you know, it's uh, only using 70, uh, what, 80 watts under 100 watts consumption that is uh, that is really good and uh, barely 30 40 percent load on the core with less than 60 degrees 3.3 gig of uh, vram used you can actually see that everything is very smooth in the game with uh, one over 100 fps we go into the graphics put it on ultra and max out the render scale and see if we can actually load the uh, load the gpu with this uh, settings Sharpening, yes, why not? V-Sync, no, mo no motion blur, and that's it. So now I got like 4.7 gig of VRAM used, 99% load on the core, so the video card is actually used here, 72 degrees. Uh, the fan is kind of low for uh, for this, you can actually see that it's around 72 degrees, this uh, Founders Edition. It'd be very good to uh, ramp up the fan uh, in order to keep the GPU cool because it's uh, using 200 watts uh, here to deliver this FPS, 100 FPS on uh, on average. You can actually see it's doing a fantastic job. But on the other hand, the CPU, it's, uh, it's okay now. Look at this. It's kind of cool to see the CPU running like this. 35 watts uh, consumption on the CPU. See that the, the whole thing is fantastic now with the CPU, the threads, there's a couple of threads that are still reaching maximum load, but uh, the FPS is fantastic overall in PUBG with uh, this video card and this system. Let's jump into Dota and see how the game is performing with maximum details. I'm actually curious because this is one of those games that I would really like to see how it's performing with the system. I like the performance here, how it's working with 65 watts consumption on the GPU, 1000 RPM on the, on the fan of the video card. And I think this is uh, an ideal video card if you want to play Dota with this uh, GPU. Very good overall performance. The system itself doesn't utilize too much uh, system RAM, only 10.3 gig of system RAM, so 32 gig is uh, kind of an overkill here. There's a couple of games that is using more than 16 gig, but this game, it's not one of those. 56 on minimal and uh, 66 on 1%. Those are good numbers. So I will say overall, the system is fantastic. This i7-7700, it's, uh, it's good because it has a higher frequency uh, core clock. I like the overall performance and uh, I think it's a good choice, you know, the CPU and this GPU together. They seem almost balanced in between them let's put back this on uh, together we can actually see a team fight look at that team fight yes all right let's see do we drop a lot of uh, fps luna doesn't even use the ultimate seriously oh come on that's a big flex here but the fps is good 68 67 on average with uh, 60 watts consumption 37 minimals and 48 on one uh, percent all right Really? Why? You, you, oh my god, look how you use the ultimate. Nah, 
nevertheless. Let's jump into Counter-Strike 2 and see how the game is performing. I connected the monitor via display port and I got uh, 239 hertz. So let's jump in the game and see how it's running with uh, very high preset in Counter-Strike 2. This is gonna be very interesting. You can actually see how fluent and everything is fa fantastic, seriously, with this video card. I like everything about this, even 130 FPS. I wouldn't use that one because I would like to have uh, over 240 FPS in order to benefit from that display port. Because if I don't have 240 FPS, there's no point on actually having this. Overall performance with this video card and this CPU, it's uh, it's fantastic. You can actually see that the GPU is doing a really nice work with uh, with this computer. The FPS, it's fantastic. The core load on the GPU, it's reaching around 80% load, but it's okay. You know, it's it feels it feels very productive. This it feels very productive for the video card with 160 watts consumption, 1400 RPM in order to keep this video card uh, in this uh, temperature. I wouldn't say no to this uh, video card, but I will say around 2000 RPM would be ideal to, to deliver this uh, performance and keep this temperature like this. I think this is how you need to play. This is now, that's how you need to play every single time Counter Strike, seriously. Yeah, no, 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 fam. Let's jump into Apex and see how it's running on 1080p with maximum details. I'm actually curious if I can uh, go above uh, 100 FPS. If I got 100 FPS with this monitor and the display port, I'm spot on with the system. I really like it uh, until now, seriously. So I hope Apex is doing the job because this is a very good uh, game that allows... Uh, uh, older hardware to shine so i'm not saying this i7 it's, it's new but uh, i really wish to benefit from it i like the cpu how it's working uh, i like uh, the gpu how it's working it's uh, on maximum detail so you're in apex so you need to understand that uh, yeah this is this is kind of cool to see this performance look at this 60 fps we're outside good performance overall hundreds of fps but the minimals are not okay you can actually see that in a combat the minimals are way too low the video card is delivering the performance with 5.5 gig of vram you can actually see the core is reaching uh, 70 percent uh, load on the core with 69 degrees nice and uh, around 160 170 watts consumption so the system is delivering the performance with uh, less than 10 gig of system ram overall the cores are doing nice 51 degrees on the cpu 30 40 watts consumption on the cpu the only thing i, I need to see it's uh, if i can um, understand how the threads are working oh my god the threads are nearly maxed out so i like how it's working the cpu is doing a fantastic job so that uh, 4 gig frequency on the cpu it's uh, very useful i think uh, a k version will be even much better if you can uh, boost it up even higher so i think uh, overall the performance it's uh, it's nice even if it's not a k model I think still uh, it's still a, a nice uh, CPU overall. Let's jump into Fortnite and see how the game is running on 1080p with performance mode unlimited and uh, maximum details. <laughs> 260 FPS on average. <laughs> can can beat this on uh, on a video card like this on a CPU like this. Overall system is doing fantastic. 2.1 gig of VRAM, 30% load on the core on the video card not a blast of consumption under 100 watts so i'll take that 1000 rpm you know so in this situation i will say this is a very big win for this uh, computer this is exactly what you need from a system like this to get uh, a lot of hundreds of fps in order to use that display port so on the cpu side we'll get uh, nice performance the threads are being utilized the system it's uh, holding there with 10.3 gig uh, of uh, system ram used but of course the threads are being used here very nice uh, performance on the io because it's keeping the cpu on 50 degrees with uh, 4000 uh, megahertz i like how it's working overall and if you get 240 fps you benefit from this uh, monitor and the display port for thunder let's jump in and see how the game is performing with uh, maximum details not a movie maximum 
without any DLSS. Overall, the performance managed to stabilize a little. Let's see how we are uh, averaging. We're averaging nearly 200 FPS with 80 on minimas and 120 on minima. <laughs> to deliver this performance, apparently the GPU is using 4 gig of VRAM with 70% load on the core. Kind of good performance and around 70 degrees in, on the on the GPU. 100 and under 150 watts uh, consumption with 8 gig of system RAM utilized in this uh, situation. I want to swap uh, this to the CPU. I think on the CPU side we're gonna see some threads being utilized here. Yeah, exactly. You see some threads are doing a fantastic work for uh, the whole uh, CPU. Makes no sense, seriously. Why are you using that one? The yellow one. Got like 130 FPS on, uh, on this. I like the performance. Apparently the CPU is holding really well. There's no problem. You can actually see the threads are doing the job here. You know, and uh, the second core was like 95% loaded. I really like how the CPU was uh, performing. I liked how it was uh, working with the RTX video card. I'm thinking to add a bigger video card. I don't know, maybe some more powerful, more different video cards for this system. Today, it was just the first part for this uh, RTX because I want to put uh, some games that are uh, benefiting from the RTX. I want to see how DLSS is working with the CPU. So I'm interested in the future to make part two with this CPU and this GPU in order to see how DLSS is working with uh, this computer. I want to see ray tracing or that uh, upscaling from this uh, video card. I think the GPU can do wonders and I think the GPU will help the CPU to achieve higher performance. I really liked how it was working today with high frames because uh, this is how I will use it, you know, to to benefit from this CPU and this GPU. Display port, lower details, high refresh rate, high frames. This is my way. In the future, I want to see how the PC is working at maximum. I want to put it to um, uh, maximum capacity. I want to see the limits on the CPU and the GPU. If you have any suggestion, please leave a comment uh, down below. If you have any, how should I say, if you like the video today and you like the CPU, make sure you smash that like button and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe if you want to see other videos. See you soon.